Hey everybody, Cody Menz here with a video on the upcoming tier 8 German premium medium tank, the KPZ PR68P. Now, this tank um, currently as of the 1.22 update isn't released, however, it's been introduced at some point this year where it's kind of due either to be released at some point in the fall through kind of mid next year. Um, it might be a holiday ops tank or um, basically released in a different you know game mode, say like the Waffen Trucker event, um, so on and so forth. Kind of likely, I think it might it might be one of the holiday ops tanks as tier eight. Um, just looking at it stat wise here, it seems a little interesting. Um, doesn't mean it won't change between now and then. I think stat wise it fits pretty well, you know, versus some tanks that we have currently in the game. Uh, but before we get into some stats, we'll go over kind of a little bit more specifics of the tank, um, the armor, you know, stuff like that before we get into the comparison. Now, you know, this tank, essentially from what Wargaming has in the client, it says it was a project created by uh, the Porsche designers, uh, part of West German. Um, Pro program essentially to develop the next generation tank uh, from my understanding i guess uh, the leopard 2 um tank you know or something like that a blend of several different tanks i did see a comment someone else left on a different video you might be watching this uh pure uh, schultz i did read your comment that was actually pretty uh informative um, i actually posted bits of that to the description here uh, for anyone curious about reading a little bit more where um, this tank i guess um essentially from what wargaming has here um, it's characterized by its low height small front frontal projection area uh, this does have some sort of hydro pneumatic suspension in there that does work in the game um, and it allows it to hold a traverse essentially forward and backwards and it says this vehicle only existed in blueprints. Um, apparently this tank you know, did kind of roll into um, essentially I guess the Leopard 1, Leopard 2 uh, development um, and essentially uh, while this specific tank design didn't make it out, uh, the tank essentially did evolve into tanks that were produced. Now, getting into the tank's armor, just kind of quick look what we see in game here. It does have essentially like a shovel on it, not a shovel, but essentially a space armor uh, piece on the front. Um, I was very tempted to include, you'll see in the comparison, the M4 uh, Rem Panzer, Rem Panzer, or however how you pronounce it. I didn't though because the tanks are pretty different statistically, but this does have a bit of that front shielding on it. Uh, like it's only five millimeters on the top bit here, and then it's 20 millimeters um, on the front frontal part of it. But Overall, this tank's armor isn't great. Like this is 250 millimeters, you know, shooting at this. It's got pretty light armor. Um, like you might get some bounces on the, the turret front and the cupola area, but it's not gonna win any, any rewards as far as, um, you know, basically the armor on this. It's a very light um, medium tank when it comes to armor protection. Now, getting into this tank, uh, the hydro pneumatic suspension, cause you can't really see that within the client, it does essentially help you with your gun depression over the front. That's how you're gonna get the nine degrees of gun depression that this has. Otherwise, it only has um, closer essentially to five over the sides. And then when you get back to the rear, it does pick up a little bit, but um, you go back to the basically five over the engine deck, which would be better than the one degree that you would have without it being able to tilt. So. This thing does rely on its um, suspension essentially to get that uh, gun depression, which, you know, looking at how long the tank is, it would definitely be very difficult to play this tank in uh, World of Tanks if it had to work off of the five degrees of gun depression it has without the um, hydro pneumatic suspension. Anyway, um, what does this tank kind of play like? So, gun wise, I threw it in here against. So, the M4A1 um, Revelos and the Udez 14.5 and the 122 TM. I think the best comparison I could say that this tank is is essentially an unarmored 122 TM. 
would be my like little one sentence review for this um, with little sprinkles, you know, giving it extra and taking away some stats, you know, here or there. Now, getting into stat, you know, a little bit more in depth than that. So 400 damage, really good for a tier 8 medium. It's better than some tier 8 heavy tanks. Good penetration, so 230 on the base round. Now, your cell velocity here, 1150. Your premium round is at 300 millimeters of pen, which is pretty good, but shell velocity dips to 950, which isn't the best, but it's you know, it's not unplayable, and your HE rounds is kind of there. It's your basic HE round. Now, um, the gun I feel like is closest to the 122 TM because they're pretty comparable when it comes to damage and pen. Compared to like the M4A1, you have a bit more pen and damage, and especially the Udez, um, you beat it out there as well. Now, getting into gun depression, so 9 degrees of gun depression, um, you have a little bit more than 122 TM. Um, granted, you do have to keep in mind, like, you technically have 5 degrees of gun depression and then an extra 4 using the suspension. Pretty sure. It, I don't think it's flip-flopped the other way. So, do keep that in mind, because other tanks, um, you know, like the 122 TM, doesn't need to rely on that, you know, to get its gun depression. Now your aiming time really good, under two seconds, and you have 0.32 accuracy, which is really nice as well. Now uh, on the move uh, stats, um, essentially nothing game breaking. You know, on the move compared to like the 122 at TM, you have worse on the move accuracy, um, moving your hull, and essentially your speed. But you do have better, um, essentially, um, you have less penalties for turning your turret. So kind of a wash but um in the, in the same breath like your on the move accuracy is a pinch worse than 122 at tm but nothing you know i feel like that's going to ruin the tank important stat so dpm you do have more dpm than the 122 tm nice but lower than uh, most medium tanks because you do have that 400 alpha gun even against uh, the other two comparisons here you do have lower dpm than them but your dpm is definitely more palatable than one 22 TMs. So overall, the, the strength of this tank is a really hard-hitting, high-penetrating gun with decent accuracy, decent gun depression, but your DPM is just kind of eh, but it's not atrocious. Hit points, so 1300, not too great, and going over the armor already, your armor's not that good, to be completely honest. So it's definitely not winning survivability, and the tank is really long, so while it's not the tallest tank out there the length does hurt you a little bit with being able to hide getting into uh, one of the main strengths of this tank so it is pretty mobile um so it's not the fastest medium out there but it's faster than the m4a1 it's faster than the 122 tm where the hidden uh, terrain resistance values are actually pretty good on this tank as well where um, as you see, it's stacking up against the Udez, which is extremely fast. This thing is pretty mobile. Uh, specific power is a little bit lower than the Udez, but overall, the tank's actually really uh, mobile. So hard hitting, you know, essentially mobile, medium tank. Camouflage, decent, you know, not perfect, not awful. So it's kind of just average, you know, it's there. And your view range at 390 is good, serviceable, you know, it's definitely uh, good for a tier 8 medium. It's not as bad as the 122 TMs, though, uh, which definitely hurts that tank a little bit. So overall, this tank's pretty interesting given that it is a really modern tank. You know, kind of seeing that it this project essentially was like leading into um, what we have for Leopard tanks, you know, at Tier 10. And this thing's at Tier 8. So it is kind of interesting seeing that, the where the large gun on this thing, I feel like definitely without that suspension on it you know when you're shooting over the side shooting over the rear the large gun that they crammed on this the 120 millimeter compared to the smaller caliber guns that you have in other similar tanks for germany definitely hurts this tank a little bit but gameplay wise is pretty unique having a hard hitting medium to where i feel like the, the going back to the 122 tm I like that tank. It got a bit of hate, you know, from the community having low DPM. But honestly, I feel like it works for a lot of people. It's pretty versatile, where if you could work with the lower DPM, it hits hard, has good penetration, good accuracy, 
good gun depression, good mobility. It's got a lot going for it. This tank's a little bit different than that since it has a lot worse armor. Um, but it does have better V-range and it's a little bit more uh, mobile. So it's one of these things where I think stat-wise this thing's sitting pretty well. It's probably going to receive a little bit of hate from people just because of the, the DPM values. But overall, while this is a really modern tank getting shoved into tier 8, I think it does work just because the armor is pretty poor um, and it seems pretty balanced to where if I had to guess this tank most likely will um, you know either be kind of a direct sale but most likely something tied to holiday ops um, or another essentially event that Wargaming does releasing a couple tanks you know within uh, the boxes that they do usually from the fall to you know three uh, springtime. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed um, hearing a little bit about this upcoming tank. And yeah, you know, we'll see when this comes out and we'll see if they tweak anything. But stat-wise, it looks like um, it's pretty well uh, tweaked and balanced, um, in my opinion, to where it's not too good, it's not too bad. And I think it's pretty interesting. It'll be a fun tank to play. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in another video sometime soon. Have a good one.